I was uh, hoping that this video was going to be me out in the path maker, out in the woods, wheeling. Um, but she's still not quite running yet, right yet. So we're going to pull some codes here today. And I figured I would film it for those of you guys who have a D21 or WD21. So 86 and a half through 95 Pathfinder or hard body truck. You can use this procedure to pull codes and troubleshoot any errors that your ECU is storing, which uh, is going to help you diagnose some of your problems. If you've got a check engine light on on your dash, um, or even if you don't have a check engine light, sometimes check engine light doesn't go on, but you will have codes in there. So it's always worthwhile and uh, to check the codes, and it's pretty easy. Let's uh, jump over to the passenger side of the uh, Pathmaker. We'll take a look at the ECU and I will go over how you pull the codes on a VG30E, but the process is the same for the VG30I and it's also the same for the Z24 and the KA24. So uh, cover all your bases here. Let's go take a look. Well, you'll have to bear with me a little bit because it's not exactly the same in the Pathmaker as it will be in your rig. Your ECU is going to be under the passenger seat. I uh, like to go in deep water sometimes. So my ECU is not under the passenger seat. I actually have my ECU right up here. It gives me an extra foot of uh, clearance before I have any water issues. It does make pulling codes a little bit more difficult as uh, we are on the underside here. So what you can see there on the left is the toggle switch. Um, dial and then there's the LED lights there uh, there's a pair of LED lights in that uh, little window so let's see if we can uh, fire this up and I can pull some codes for you uh, on video so step one in pulling codes is turn the ignition to on but do not turn the rig on you can hear my fuel pump firing up now you reach in here and I'm going to twist the diagnostic switch all the way to counterclockwise and I should have the LED lights start blinking for me here. Yep, you can see the two LED lights blinking. Now they're blinking through the modes. They'll blink, both of the lights will blink once for mode one, twice for mode two, three times for mode three, four and five. Those are all test modes. The one that you're most likely going to want or to need is test mode three uh, because that is the one that will pull your ECU codes. So let me try to jam my head in here. There's one. There's two. There's three. So once it blinks three times, I flip it back to on and now it's going to spit out any codes that I have stored in my computer. Um, the way it works is the red light is the first digit and the green light is the second digit. So I've got five red flashes and five green flashes, which tells me it's 55, which means I do not have any errors in my ECU. Good to go. So you can find the error code list online and it'll tell you what numbers you're spitting out. So if we're good, what we're going to do, we want to put it back into mode one. So we're going to flip it, twist it back clockwise all the way. And then we're going to get back to looking here. There's number four. There's five. I wasn't fast enough, so I gotta wait for it to come around again. There's mode three, mode four, mode five, mode one. Turn it back counterclockwise, and we're good. Easy as that. That's uh, how you pull the codes on a Nissan Pathfinder with a VG30E. The uh, KA and the Z24 are going to be the same process. 
The uh, VG30i, the TBI model, is slightly different. There's a little toggle switch on there, uh, so you have to go about it a little bit different. But this is going to get you Nissan Pathfinder and Nissan Hardbody ECU codes.